it's Jen from Fabulous Paper Emporium. I decided as I was in the middle of doing something, I figured I might as well do a little bit of an impromptu video. And this way I can kind of give you any last minute ideas. Cause if you're like me, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're like me, um, you're still doing stuff. So, uh, if you've got any gift cards or if you're giving, you know, that kind of thing to somebody, this is kind of like a card that looks, that acts like a gift card. So it can be one and the same. So I've done these two already. I'm using the uh, Very Merry Christmas from Cartabella, which is a totally retro, uh, bringing me back to my childhood type of Christmas pack. And it's, it's, it's hard to keep in stock. In fact, it sold out earlier and um, thankfully, we have some more that's come in. So not saying for this Christmas, but you know, maybe something to keep in your hat for our Boxing Day sale that's coming up. <clears throat> Shameless plug. Anyhow, so these are the two that I've just done. So really simply put together, used the, um, some cut aparts that came in this pack as well as some of the stickers. So basically you open it and in this, on this side, there's a pocket. So you can put a gift card in. Um, I think we're, this is intended. So we're going to be putting some money in there. So I left the pocket a little bit deeper, but if you were giving a gift card, you could easily, um, put the adhesive up to this point and that way the gift card doesn't slide all the way in and just disappear. <laughs> so you can do that. And then I think on this side is where we're going to put a greeting and a little note on, on the side. So I just wanted to run through it really quickly with you. It's not very complicated. Obviously I thought of this after I started. <laughs> so I'm just going to go through the measurements and some of the pieces and things that I've decided to use and you know, we'll be done. Voila. So, uh, the base of the, the, card gift card holder I guess is five and a half by 12. It looks a little odd on this side because I've already snipped a little bit trimmed it so that it folds nicely. So we have scored this one at four inches and at eight inches <clears throat> and what we do with this is the very far right corner you're going to fold that in and you fold it in not not up to the score line, but just before the score line, because you want this to fold nicely and lay flat. And if you fold right to the score line, you're going to have a little bit of curling, especially here. It's going to give you some resistance. So we don't want that. So that is one of the very first things that we are going to do. So I'm going to adhere this, this little flap, because that can stay down. And I'm just going to do that with some glue liquid glue. You can use some uh, score tape if you so wish. Anything that's going to keep it glued down. Alrighty. Squeeze out any excess that you might have. Perfect. So when you fold this part in, so again, have no, there's nothing impeding it there. This is what I'm going to, you're going to tr want to trim off just a little bit because it is going to come right to the score line, if not go over a little bit. So I've already trimmed off maybe a 16th of an inch and I had the little piece that got trimmed on my desk, but I think I accidentally kind of put it already in the garbage. Anyways, so just, just a little fraction, just you know, a hair basically. And you just try it out. Like if you take off a little bit, fold it and see if you have any resistance or if it's rubbing. And if it is just trim a little bit off, a little bit more off. So what I've done on this, these panels, I'm going to be using this cardstock. And I think I'm going to, my intention was this way. So I'm going to put one panel here and one panel here. So these are both cut at uh, three and three quarters, three and three quarters this way by five and a quarter in length. You're going to need three pieces. So these are all cut from the same 
paper, but the front, I'm going to flip it over and use the opposite side. That's exactly what I did for these ones is this is the opposite side to this or beautiful ornament paper. So, um, easy to do this side, not a problem because you're not doing anything with that. But for this one, what I did do, so I wasn't using a lot of extra paper because this paper is near and dear to my heart. It is uh, obviously difficult to <laughs> keep in stock. So um, I don't want to waste a bunch by putting a page like in there and then having to cut another piece here. You don't have to cut this piece at all, but I just figured since I've got this piece cut anyways, I'm going to mark it off. And what I do is I place it the way I would want to have it laying. And then I mark up here, cause you can see where, I know you probably can't see it. It's very difficult cause it's black. So I'm gonna put a little mark at the top where this piece folds. So I put a little mark there putting this back into place and then I'm putting a little mark down here where if only I would stop moving it put a little bit of a mark here where it folds where this folds so basically you're cutting the same angle as this and this is that's the simplest way I can think of doing it because every other fancy measurement just does not work. It doesn't work. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer and I'm just going to lay this down corner to corner, well, mark to mark. And it's not necessarily specifically the corner to corner. So we're just going to slice that. So I've got my two pieces and bring this piece back and then we'll have our piece that will go here nicely. And then this piece kind of tucks in right there. So I'm gonna put this piece on first and cause I feel like there's, there's less wiggle room kind of with this piece that's gonna go on top of that panel. So I'm gonna put this piece, lay this one down first like that. Make sure that's well pressed down and then I'm going to put some liquid glue. It's important to use liquid glue for this part because if you need to move it around, the liquid part, the liquid glue is not going to adhere so fast that you're not going to be able to fix or move it around. So I just like flipping it over just so that I can have a little, I can retain control over this bottom piece. Okay, like that's, and yeah, this is a little, it's a little fussy, but there we go. Gonna move that out just a hair. There we go. And so this way it kind of lines up nicely all the way around. So I think that, yep. And because that's going to be folded down, there's going to be like money, gift card, what have you in here. Could be gift certificates. What if you print out something, so many things you can do online these days, uh, that that works super, super well. Cause you can, it's, it's a fairly big pocket and it can be as deep as you want. So I'm going to now put some, uh, the score tape on this side. So again, if you were doing this for a gift card, then simple would be to put your, your tape. I would definitely put some down at the bottom, but you would want to maybe put some around this where your, where your fold line is. And that way your gift card stays visible, even if it moves over this way. Otherwise your gift card could easily get lost in down here. So, um, I am just going to peel that, peel that part off. And then you're going to put, excuse me, a little bit on this side. And that way we get, we 
me fold this. And now we have our little pocket. Nice. Nice. And then I'm going to, yep, yeah, making sure that I didn't grab the wrong piece. Not that there's like a right and wrong piece because they're all basically the same. The same. I just try to make sure that Santa is like right in the middle at the top because I feel like when, when I cut my pieces for the message and the sentiment, I think I'm going to put a smaller piece kind of at the bottom so it allows the lovely paper to kind of speak for itself. And then for the front, my simple idea was I'm taking the this side, which is the opposite side. Now that I'm going to do that, I want to, I'm going to back this. So this again was another sheet with cut aparts. So I'm going to put that on a sheet of black. So this way there's just a little bit of border that will make it stand out. And that I'm going to cut at about an eighth of an inch, an eighth of an inch wi uh, wider and longer. So that'll be one and one and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Now I've got to remember that one and seven eighths by four and one eighth. How quickly we are going to forget this. One and seven eighths. So long as nobody else talks to me, which everybody else is downstairs doing their own thing. Except for the dog. He's just outside the door. He's not allowed in the craft room because he's a drooly dog. And one day I'll show you a picture of him. He's a drooly dog and he obviously drool and paper do not mix very well. So he's not allowed in here, generally speaking. So that will mats it really nicely and just kind of gives that definition of a little bit of black in between the two red papers. So just on the fly. All right. We're gonna place that carefully. But again, liquid glue, liquid glue is my friend. All right, perfect. So I'm going to lay this down first just to make life easier because I think I might pipe, pipe, I might pop that up on, on a, some foam squares and this way, again, adding a little bit of dimension. These are being hand delivered anyways, so I'm not worried about things getting squished in the, in the mail. Obviously at this stage of the game, if it was being mailed, then they'd be getting it for next Christmas. Ha ha ha. Just jokes. All right. So then that will go there. And then I have a sticker in mind. I use Santa in this convertible. So maybe the Santa should go up. Nah, I think I'm going to put Santa down first and then Noel. Mm, now I'm kind of undecided what to do, what to do. It's kind of a big sticker and I don't really want it. Don't really want, it kind of covers that up if I do it this way, but I want Noel on there. So give me one second. Rethinking my idea now. I want Santa on there. It's for my, hmm, 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 hmm. Oh. I can, uh, I can possibly use this one. If I put him there and I pop this one up, it'll cover a little bit, but not, not a terrible amount. I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. All right. So we'll put him kind of at the edge here. So I'm not covering up too, too much of Santa. And then we're going to put this on some dimensionals or foam things, whatever you want to call them. And I was going to say, now I can't find them. Of course, I'm using my little itty bitty ones. So it's going to take me a little bit to lay these down. Yeah. I feel like I always have to test them, make sure that I have all the 
the adhesive backing. <laughs> I have it off there. Okay, so I'm going to move it this way just so that I have a better idea. I kind of want it in the corner, but obviously want some of that red to poke through. There we go. Perfect. So we have this one and these two. So super simple, really um, can make it your own using stickers, ephemera, the cut aparts, stamps, absolutely everything. This is just such a simple, easy, quick project that comes together really quickly. Hope you enjoyed this quick impromptu little video. And again, um, as I mentioned before, at the beginning, I kind of let it slip that we're having a Boxing Day sale on December 26th, 27th, 28th, and it'll be 20% off basically everything we have in the store. Um, the only, there's a couple of things I'm just checking on and, uh, yeah, so be sure to, um, if you don't, follow us on Facebook. That's usually where my, all the announcements kind of happen. So look for fabulous paper emporium .com, uh, .com. fabulous paper emporium on Facebook. Don't forget to like us. Also, don't forget to subscribe. So there's a little watermark with my logo at the very bottom right hand corner of this video. So if you click that and subscribe, once we hit 100 followers, then we're going to give away a fantastic graphic 45 kit that will make two projects for you and it has some amazing things if you want the video that you're going to have on the left hand side that'll show you everything that's included in the kit so it's free i mean all you have to do is subscribe so <laughs> hopefully you hit subscribe hopefully you like this video and you found it useful if you have any comments please leave them at the bottom and i will get back to you just as quickly as i can thank you so much for joining me today hopefully you had a great day hopefully you have a great day <laughs> and stay safe stay well bye